At this hour, Brett Kavanaugh poised to become the next Supreme Court justice, but it will no doubt anger his critics who lashed out against his nomination all this week and even before that, including former first daughter Chelsea Clinton. What was so troubling was how nakedly partisan he was. So admittedly, my opposition to him is kind of rooted in policy, mm -hmm. um, but I now am even more kind of uh, in, intense in my feelings because of how political he's become. I'm wondering what your response is to how we've seen Dr. Ford's plight. What, what is your response to those who might say, you know what, I was going to do that, but I don't need to go through that? Well, I would say I understand that, and I hope you're still willing to raise your hand, raise your voice. Here now, Juanita Broderick, who has accused former President Bill Clinton of raping her while he was running for governor of Arkansas in 1978. Good evening, Juanita. Hi, Ed. nice to be with you. Good to be with you. Now, what happened allegedly between you and what Bill Clinton did to you uh, that you allege? Uh, obviously, Chelsea Clinton is not culpable for that. But what, how do you react to what she had to say about Judge Kavanaugh and Dr. Ford? I, I think it's ridiculous, Ed. I, I truly do. I feel like that she needs to uh, say something about her own family and deal with her own family and what they did to me before she can even have the right to make a comment against Judge Kavanaugh or in favor of Dr. Ford. Well, speaking of her family, let's look at what Hillary Clinton, of course, the former presidential candidate, uh, said in 2015. Listen to this. Well, I would say that everybody should be believed at first until they are disbelieved based on evidence. Everyone should be believed and then move it forward to the debate this past week or so. And we heard Democrat after Democrat say when it came to Dr. Ford, we believe her. But it sounds like you got a much different reaction when you came forward. Oh, I did. I didn't have anyone that was on my side, really, except uh, the public. The public was on my side. But the media just hounded me and had the most awful, you know, things to say about me. It was very disheartening. Now, what we heard in the past week that might have tilted in the last day or so, uh, Susan Collins and Joe Manchin, to support Judge Kavanaugh was the idea that there was no corroboration to the allegations that Dr. Ford raised. What was the corroboration that you brought to the table, to be fair here? Oh, Ed, my goodness. I had the lady that found me 30 minutes after the rape, and I told five other people. I had the documentation of the seminar that I was supposed to be attending that day. And uh, uh, it was there were so many things. I can remember everything about the event, and I can't imagine, Dr. Ford, if anything like that happened mm -hmm. to her, not to be able to remember the littlest details. But did you I come do. forward? at that time to the Arkansas police? Oh, no, no. How could I come forward to the police? Bill Clinton was the police. He was the attorney general. He was attorney and general, also, later governor, of course. Right. And also, he regulated my nursing homes. I owned nursing homes at the time. But, and he, he was the one that was responsible for regulating nursing homes. But we heard President Trump take some heat this week for raising questions about Dr. Ford's story. And among other things, he said, you know, why didn't she... Why didn't her loving parents come forward with this story decades ago? How do you answer that? Oh, I was frightened. I was intimidated by uh, Hillary Clinton three weeks after the rape. And I, I was very frightened. I was frightened of them. And they gained power by the year. Mm -hmm. And I still was a struggling business owner that Bill Clinton could have shut down at a moment's notice. You've talked about Dianne Feinstein, who's been front and center in the Kavanaugh nomination battle, obviously, uh, receiving that anonymous letter from Dr. Ford, sitting on it and all the rest. When you right. came forward... She didn't want to hear your story. Oh, no, not at all. And I didn't come forward willingly. I was outed by the Paula Jones suit. And then here comes Ken Starr's people. And that's when I finally told the truth. I went through a, a very difficult deposition, you know, with uh, uh, the independent counsel. So, and and they, they refused to read it. Not one Democrat would read it. So final question, what do you want all these years later? What would be justice for you? Justice for me would be as if I could have an investigation. If they're going to go back 35 years, 36 years for Christine Ford, they ought to be able to go back 39 for me. And I would like to see if, if they can, 
you know, if it can be proved that this happened, I would like to see President Clinton's uh, perks as a former president removed. He receives millions of dollars from our tax dollar every year, and I'd like to see those stripped. Juanita Roderick, we appreciate you coming in tonight. Yeah, thank you.